match. Introducing first in the corner to my left, from Dublin, Ireland, weighing 161 pounds, Velvet McIntyre. And her opponent, from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing 140 pounds, the World Wrestling Federation Ladies Champion, Sensational Sherry. Beautiful, isn't she, Monsoon? Sensational Sherry? She is rather stunning, isn't she? Very attractive. Could be a centerfold, you know. Well, I mean, you wouldn't be trying to get someone with a already with a championship belt into your family, would you? Are you trying to say I would try to buy a championship? Right. You know, I mean, if the shoe fits, uh, you know, put it on. You know, you can lead a horse to water. Yeah, but you can't make a duck out of it. You know that. Something like that. Tremendous opportunity uh, for Velvet McIntyre, even though this is a non-title matchup. Should she be victorious, it would make her the number one contender for a shot at the title. Oh, any time. Off platform, right in the lower abdomen area. Velvet never ceases to amaze her how she can get in there and do all those moves barefooted. Well, you see, in Ireland, most of the women are barefoot all the time. You know why that is? That's number one. That's not true, but go ahead anyway. Well, I don't know either. I've never been. No, I wouldn't care to be there. You made it up. Go ahead. I didn't make it. You think I just sit here and make things up? Sure, you've never been in Beverly Hills in your life. Are you kidding? You ask Oko, and he's been to my estate, John. Sure. Time has turned already in this matchup. You know, I have a neighbor right down the road. Yeah. Ted DiBiase and Mr. Our Man just bought a quite a palatial estate. Bel Air, I think. Bel Air, yes. Or, or, he's renting it. He's he, renting it. He moves around. When it gets cold, he moves. How can you just pick up like that whenever you feel like it? Just make a move. Well, uh, to explain to the average humanoid, you can't because they usually be stuck in the mud the rest of their lives wherever they live or wherever they were born. Well, for him, it's no problem with his millions, I guess. A disgusting individual. I think this sensational Jerry is going to be a greater champion than Moore was. Well, sensational, sir. You know, you are on the cover of the latest magazine, Jerry. But I there's know. other interesting things inside. You have not got by the cover yet, I guess. There's a heck of an article in there about the lady champion. Oh, I, sir. You I wouldn't know. I never looked inside. No, you never got by the top, the front, the first page. Well, I'm on the cover. Yeah, I know, but there's other, just, you know, never judge a book by its cover. There's some good stuff inside. Well, I didn't read it. I didn't know. I guess not. Oh, look at this beautiful maneuver. Standing, a head scissors, drop kick. Another beautiful move from a standing position. Could be all over here. Should have went for a reverse half Nelson there. Didn't put in the ropes as referee Joe Morello points that out. He's good at counting the two, Morello. He counts the three. He yeah, but he, he just hasn't gotten enough. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, you want to start talk about that? I'm willing to uh, venture into that vein if you want to get into how some of your people were humiliated at last WrestleMania. You want to talk about that? No, I don't. Oh. You know, sensational Sherry beat probably the toughest woman in sports, the fabulous Moore. No question about that. And it wasn't a fluke. He pinned her right in the middle uh, of that ring. I was right there in the Sam Houston Coliseum. What are we going to have here? A giant swing, perhaps. Take it for a ride, here it comes. Boy, we can have a big upset in the making here. Beautiful giant swing. Velvet's a little bit dizzy too, though. Didn't you used to do that when you I wrestled? I certainly did. That was my favorite hole. One, two, no. Put on the rope again. I went around and made sure you were dizzy. I went around at least 25 or 30 times. 25 or 30 times? Yeah. That explains it. Well, nothing. Well. Put her head down, got, got away with it. Robert committed a cardinal sit there and survived. Beautiful reverse roll up. Oh no, look at the tights. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, look. Stole it. Stole the victory from Velvet. She was one of your favorite maneuvers. She won. The winner of this now, the World Wrestling Federation Ladies Champion, Sensational Sherry. Sensational Sherry, victorious here this week. Oh, Velvet doesn't like it. I don't blame her. Well, look at she's going to work on it. 
Velvet should be suspended and fined, barred, and put on probation, just like the one man guy. Well, if you're going to do it to him, you can do it to her. This match is over. The referee letting it continue on. There can be no change in the decision. But she's getting some satisfaction off. Right over the top rope and down to the concrete goes the champion. She doesn't look like a champion right now, does she? I'd like to be married to her and forget to bring home the egg. Wow. She's devastated. She's got the belt. Sensational Shirley has the title in her hand. Still the champion. Well, there's no quick. There was a non-title match just to begin with, but she was victorious. Let's go back and take a look at how she, in fact, got the victory, which to me was not close. Oh, uh, there. Look, was... look at that. Right there. Deep into the wrestling gear of Donovan McIntyre goes the champion to get the victory. Right now, let's catch up on some news about the WWF. <laughs>